Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video in which I'm going to show you guys how to install Android Oreo on the Xiaomi Mi 1. Currently my Xiaomi Mi 1 is on the latest stock ROM which is based on Android version 7.1.1 and that's Android Nougat basically and I want to install Android Oreo but that's in beta right now and I cannot install beta ROM on my device. But a developer from XDA has made this process extremely easy. You just need to visit the XDA thread which will be linked in the description box below and download the latest version. Right now the latest version is version 2 but if you are watching this video after a few days then the latest version may change to version 3, 4 or consecutive versions. All the new changes and bug list will be mentioned in this XDA thread plus I'll write down my short review of the latest Oreo version available for the MI1 in the comment section box below until and unless the stable version releases for the Xiaomi MI1. So do check the pinned comment from the comment section box below. After this, now let's talk about how to do that. First of all, you will need to download the latest zip file from the XDA thread which I showed you guys earlier. That file will be of around 1 GB. So download that. Now you need to extract this file. So right click on it and select extract. Once the extraction is completed, open it up. Open this folder too and you will file these files over here. In the images folder, you can find that system and everything which is necessary to be flashed on this device is present here. Before we can flash this ROM, you need to enable OEM unlocking on your device. So for that, go into settings, go into about phone, tap on build number 7 times so that developer options will be enabled. Once those are enabled, go back, go into developer options, Enable OEM unlocking here so that we can unlock the bootloader on Xiaomi Mi1. This will not wipe your data and this method also will not wipe your data so do not worry about that. If you have already unlocked the bootloader then you need not unlock the bootloader once again. Now switch off your device. Once the device is completely switched off, hold the volume down button and power button together for few seconds so that the device will boot into the fast boot mode and you will see the Mi bunny here. Now attach the USB type C cable to your device and your device will be detected. Now we need to open a PowerShell window or command prompt window in this particular folder only where you can see these ADB files and fastboot files. And to open up command prompt or PowerShell window, hold shift button on your keyboard and press right click at the same time without leaving the shift button on your keyboard in any empty space on this folder. For me, it is showing as open PowerShell window here, but for you, if it is showing open command window here, which will have a black window, do not worry, all the commands are going to remain the same. First of all, we'll need to unlock the bootloader. So write a command which is fastboot OEM unlock and press enter. This will unlock the bootloader and that's it. It will not wipe your data. It will not reboot into system. The device's bootloader is unlocked. And if you want to check whether your device's bootloader is unlocked, then you can write this command. As you can see, it is showing that device's bootloader is unlocked. Now, we have unlocked the bootloader. Now, it's time to flash the Android Oreo ROM. Select the MIA1 flasher bat file. This file's name may change in the future if developer wants to do that. But do not worry, you have to double click on the bat file, B-A-T file, which will be present in this folder. Double click on that. It is saying that connect your device in fastboot mode, but we have already done that. So press enter on your keyboard. Now you will see these three options. First option says dirty install without relocking the bootloader. Dirty install means that it will try to install Android Oreo on your current Android version which is 7.1.1 without wiping any type of data and without relocking the bootloader meaning it will not relock the bootloader which is totally fine in my opinion. Second option says clean install without relocking the bootloader meaning it will wipe everything on your device but it will install completely new version of Android Oreo on your device and it will not relock the bootloader. If you are facing any type of issues on your MI1 like force closes or uh, battery drain or anything, I would highly recommend you to choose the second option and not the first one. You can back up your data beforehand and choose the second option because this is the safest option and that's the best option if you are facing any type of force closes or any type of issues with your MI1 on Android Nougat. Third option says clean install with relocking your bootloader meaning it will wipe everything on your device, it will install new Android Oreo on your device. Plus, it will also relock the bootloader. Second option is the best option in my opinion. But here, my brother is using the MI1 and he does not want to lose his data. So I'm going to select the first option which is dirty install without relocking the bootloader. Now type 1 here and press enter. 
it will start installing Android Oreo on your device. This process may take about 5 to 10 minutes or 15 minutes depending on your laptop or PC. If your laptop is very old, it may take 15 minutes too. But my PC was very quick, so it took me less than 5 minutes to flash the Android Oreo ROM on the Mi A1. And first option is not the worst option ever, but second option is the safest and the best option in my opinion. Now the device is booting into the system because uh, Android Oreo ROM is flashed on the device. And once the device boots into the system, as you can see, no data is wiped. Nova Launcher, which I had installed on Android Nougat is still present here. If I double tap on the home button, it will go into this search bar and like random things. Now let's go into settings. Let's go into about phone. As you can see, this version is based on Android 8.0.0, which is Android Oreo. First major change that you will find is that the status bar is white in color. And that is how it is on Android 8.0 even though I prefer to have black status bar or at least gray status bar on pixel devices it changes the status bar according to the wallpaper which is not present on the Mi one as of now I hope that they provide that with the Android version 8.1 with Android Oreo you're going to get picture in picture mode or PIP mode where if you're playing any video in full screen mode on Chrome and if you press home button the video will play as a window on your device and you can use any other application at the same time too. This is a feature of Android Oreo and it was not present in Android 7.1.1. You also have the regular features such as multi-window and the performance seems to be good in my limited usage with the Android Oreo ROM. If you want to install this particular ROM, then this was the guide. Whenever a stable version for this ROM comes out, the same method can be followed to install Android Oreo. But I have already made a better or kind of official method to install Android Oreo. But we need a stable Oreo file which will be linked in the description box below. And whenever stable version releases for the device, I'll add that in the title or in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and let's see if we can reach 2500 likes on this video. If your friends have MI1, then do share this video with them so that they can install Android Oreo. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then click on my face right now and get subscribed because many more awesome videos like these are going to come real soon on the channel. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.